Hey guys, Rock Box 90 here. Deck tech number two, and I guess probably the last one tonight because I'm tired and it's late. Um, this is a super casual, super fun, mm -hmm. though it may not seem to be, blue, white, red. No blue. Oh, <laughs> not blue. White, green, red. Agro cat equip deck. Because cats are cool. And. Meow. Yeah. Meow. Meow. <laughs> and awful. that was pretty awful. I've been around cats all week, and I still can't imitate them. Anyway, so the idea being, it's it's very straightforward. It's super casual. It's legacy. It's like it's it's all over the board. It's not at all standard. I I guess it could fall in modern, maybe, but um, yeah. So let's let's go through it. I have fun going through it. It's pretty. It, it's obviously in the making. It's a lot supposed to be a lot of fun. It plays. How do you think it plays? How's it play? What do you mean how? How's it play when you play with it? Well, it plays well. <laughs> it's a little, a little slow because it's a little slow on the equip stuff. But anyway, let's see how it goes. So we have here, we have seven planes. So seven planes, three mountains, ten, two, seven forests. That's eighteen basic land, and then we have a sun home fortress of the legion. The reason it's really good is that it can give double strikes to some of the equipped uh, guys, which is ridiculous with, like, the swords. Um, Grove of Burn Willows, Horizon Canopy are both um, old-school future side tap lands. They, this gives your opponent a life when you tap. Instead of you losing a life, it gives your opponent a life. But with the swords, it doesn't really matter. Horizon Canopy lets you draw a card if you sack it, and it's dual color. Uh, but it requires you to pay a life to do it every time. Then we have a Temple Garden, which is a shock land from old school shock land. And then two dual lands, Celestia Sanctuary, Boros Garrison. That's the land base. Then in terms of the deck itself, we're running two Quasali Pride Mages, because they're cats and they're awesome. Leon and Sky Hunter. It's also a cat. <laughs> uh, two Sun Spear Shikari. Really amazing when they're equipped. Ridiculously good cards. Thank you, Scars and Meriden. Two Lynn and Dengard. They are also very good. Miri Cat, Cat Warrior. Only one because it's legendary. And it costs two green. And whatever. You have to have one Miri, but you should have one Miri. One Sky Hunter Skirmisher. It's also uh, wait, dual white cost. Two white cost. But it has double strike, so throw a sword on it. It's ridiculous. Ridiculous. Two Sky Hunter Cubs. Also, when they're equipped, they're good. Sky Hunter Prowler. He's Vigilance. So, yeah. And two Kemba, because Kembas are always good with, with uh, equipment stuff. Um, a Marisi Twin Claws. This one's else. promo. What, what do you want? We need another one of those. Oh, we need another Twin Claws. <laughs> okay, well, there would be another Twin Claws in this deck. Uh, maybe instead of Sky Hunter Patrol, which is just a 2-3 flying for a strike, but whatever. And then, of course, Raksha, who's crazy. Crazy amazing cat. He's so badass with his scimitar thing, whatever he has back here. It's not a scimitar, what do you call that? Uh, axe. Well, uh, an axe lance, whatever you call it. He's so awesome. Uh, those are the creatures. In terms of spells, we have removal. We have a journey to nowhere. We only need more than one. Disenchant. Two lightning bolts. Three path to exiles. Thank you, Grave Titan, MTG, for your path to exiles. Um, two Boros Fury Shield, which is a really underrated card, given that's a common from uh, Dissension. Ravnica. Ravnica. From Ravnica. But it's ridiculous, especially when you pay red. It prevents all common damage dealt to by an attacking or blocking creature. And if you pay a red, it deals that damage the creature would do back to its owner. For th so that'd be three mana for that. Prevents it and deals it back. Really good. In terms of the equipment, we have an Infiltration Lens. We have two Land and Scimitar, because they equip really quickly. So for guys that get their own bonuses from equipping, uh, the buff is really fast with them. Scloroscope, let you get some land drop if you need. Umizawa Jute, which is just like one of the most broken equipments ever. I have to have it. Logs it on Warhammer. Dark Steel Plate, which may come out for... What? You said it might come out for something. I don't know. Okay, this might come out at some point. But it's, okay. it's it's still good. Then we have two Sword of War and Peace, because it's an equipment deck. Two Sword of Peace and Famine, which are now like going through the roof. It's ridiculous, these cards. 
And that is the deck base in terms of sideboard. In terms of sideboard. Swords for any occasion. It's kind of <laughs> swords for any occasion. We have swords. There's a lot of sideboard that's just empty. You guys can figure out what you want to put there. Uh, if you if you ever decide to make this deck, otherwise just have fun viewing it and whatever. Dark Steel Axe, a naturalize to complement the single disenchant in the deck. <laughs> Bema Sledge, which is color typed, which is why Logs on Warhammer is actually in and this isn't. And then just for the hell of it, we have uh, two sword to body and mind, two sword to light and shadow, two sword to fire and ice. So two of all the swords in this deck and um, lots of other good equipment, including Umizawa Jute. As I have in my wants list, one more Jute would be nice if someone has one and is willing to part with it. Um, yeah, but that's the deck. It's kind of fun, extremely casual, uh, and it's full of cats. <laughs> Cat ladies. Wait, where are they? Here, cats. There are cats in this deck. So cats are cool. North. Cats are cool. They, yeah. will, they, will, they will scratch your eyes out. So, anyway, thanks for watching, as always. Uh, Rocks to Box 90. Stop. We're a bunch. <laughs> Rate, comment, subscribe, and peace.